Guess who? You know, I don't, I don't like that start, but I'm not, I'm not going to redo it. Uh, I, might have, I might have said that at the very beginning of the last video. Uh, I just don't remember. So uh, Eric Darling here with Darling Data. And uh, in this, this humdinger of a video, which I might have said about the last one too, hard to tell. Uh, I can't go watch it now because that would that'd be embarrassing. And I, I, I hate the sound of my own voice, so we're not going to do that. Anyway, um, in this video, we're going to talk about what parameter sniffing looks like <clears throat> in query store, specifically when you use my store procedure, SP underscore quickie store, which is the only thing worth using to look at query store. The query store GUI is like read committed, the, 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 the pessimistic garbage isolation level, it is an abomination. The God, man, cats, dogs, chunky peanut butter, it is is the Chicago pizza of user interfaces. So uh, let's get to it. <clears throat> now, uh, parameter sniffing, of course, can um, happen to any query that is parameterized. If uh, your queries aren't parameterized, uh, there's a very, very low chance of there, there being a parameter sniffing problem. So with that out of the way, uh, I'd also like to mention that sometimes parameter sniffing is a good thing, specifically for most OLTP-ish workloads, because you want lots of plan reuse. You don't want SQL Server, uh, you know, mucking around with things. You really don't. So, what shall we do? Well, we've got an index on the uh, users table on the creation date column. And uh, this is going to be sort of a <clears throat> classic parameter sniffing scenario where a, pl a plan with a simple index seek and a key lookup is good enough for small amounts of values, but not good enough for large amounts of values. It's also worth noting that this query is ineligible for the SQL Server 2022 uh, parameter sensitive, sensitive plan optimization because we have, uh, we, do we don't have an equality predicate here. This is not an equality, even though it is greater than or equal to. Uh, we are looking for a range of values, and the parameter sensitive plan optimization simply does not comply with queries that do not have direct equality predicates in them. So I've defeated you again, Microsoft. All right, so let's clear out query store because we don't care what's in there right now. Well, the most important thing happening is this demo. Nothing else is important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this in a loop 50 times and query plans are off, which is a good thing. And that finished rather quickly. That finished in about a second. Now I'm going to change this and I'm going to run this query, which goes back a little bit further in time, but I'm only going to run it once because I don't feel like sitting here and staring at this thing running 50 times in a loop. It takes a couple few seconds to run. If we ran uh, a 50 time loop for four seconds, guess who would have a bad time? You and me. <laughs> uh, 50 times four is a number I can't possibly conceive of. So in order to look at this query specifically, we're gonna use a couple parameters for query store. One of them being query type, and this is just simply an A to look for ad hoc queries. And uh, we're going to use expert mode so that we get a more full result set of columns. So if we run this, uh, and we look at, well, we can get this, some of this junk out of the way. We don't need all this clutter, right? If we run this and we scroll over a little bit further, uh, we're going to see our query plan here, which, you know, oh, look at that classic parameter sniffing index seek key lookup. Uh, and if we scroll over a little bit further, we're going to get to some, uh, we're going to get to some duration and CPU metrics, right? So average duration, 110 milliseconds, total duration, five seconds, last duration, oh, 4.2 seconds, the minimum duration of 17 milliseconds, and a maximum duration of 4.2 seconds. This is going to also correlate with some CPU metrics and some read metrics. So average CPU 110, total CPU 5, 
last CPU 4.2, min CPU milliseconds 17, max CPU milliseconds 4.267. And uh, we'll also see sort of a similar pattern with the reads uh, here. So the min reads is 142, the max reads is 45,000. So uh, one that's a good way if you are concerned about parameter sniffing going on with your queries, one very good way to figure out which queries might be, might fall into those categories is to run spQuickyStore. You don't need the query type for that. It might be, I only used A here to filter down to ad hoc queries since that, that's dynamic SQL. It's not attached to a store procedure. You might find lots of store procedures that are also parameter sensitive, so heads up there. But a uh, good way to do that, mostly to use the expert mode equals one parameter which will get you a bunch of extra columns. If you don't use expert mode equals one, the only thing that I show in the columns is uh, the average and total for like CPU duration logical reads, just because I don't want a big cluttered result set. I don't know, like, you know, if I don't know what the, if I, need to, if I need to dig deeper, I can. That's why the expert mode switch is there. I don't necessarily need every single column under the sun in my initial result set. So this is a little bit of a dig deeper scenario. This, what experts do when they look at query store. But if you see a big variation between, you know, average, min, max, last, you know, you know I mean, last might even be okay, but mostly the min, mins and the maxes and the averages. If there's a, you know, you're, on average, you're doing okay, but sometimes you do not so okay. Oh, well, you might have a parameter sniff, sniffing problem. It might even be classic parameter sniffing, which is, when you have an index seek and a key lookup. Uh, how you choose to, 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 to resolve those problems, well, that's between you and your maker. Uh, if you need help with that sort of thing, I am available for hire. My, uh, my business model is not just making free, ad-free YouTube videos. Uh, it's mostly consultancy, so um, you, could, you can hire me to do it. You can also buy my training if you if you want to learn how I do it, which is m might be suitable for you if you've got got got, got that kind of time on your hands and uh, you can sit through more of me babbling about SQL Server. Anyway, um, and then and another, I think a video that I'm going to record next because the demo is here and it's nice and handy <clears throat> is I'm going to uh, show you what parameter sniffing looks like in SP. Who is active? Should be a good time, I think, for everyone. All right, cool. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you find it uh, somewhere deep within your soul, in the crevices, where there's all sorts of, you know, cheese it crumbs and old coins, <laughs> popcorn. Uh, to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to hit the 3,000 subscriber mark sometime before I turn 50. So, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for how to spot parameter sniffing in SP underscore who is active. Thank you for watching.